Jawline check, niggas. Jawline check, nigga. My jawline coming back, Beatrice. Told you, man. That fucking trend. Trend will fucking keep your jawline in check. Kelcat gained about at least 10 pounds over the uh the holidays. But as long as you know when you getting out of whack, you all good. It's when motherfuckers are delusional and they don't know they all they're out of whack. You know what I'm saying? And they keep on thinking that, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Like, nah, man, you got fat all over your goddamn chin, all over your eyebrows. You got nigga, you even got fat on top of your forehead. You know what I'm saying? About to go hit this gym real quick. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean, nah, I mean, nah, I mean. Hit this fucking goddamn gym. You know. <clears throat> but uh, I wanted to talk about something real quick before I hit this gym. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, man. There's no saving a lot of cats out here, man. There's no saving a lot of cats. Not even working out would save a lot of motherfuckers. Because, see, the thing is, a lot of motherfuckers out here resemble animals, man. And when you resemble an animal, you're done, man. Matter of fact, you haven't begun. Before, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers haven't even begun. Some motherfuckers look like camels. Some motherfuckers look like uh, turtles and shit. When you look like an animal or something like that, you're done. <clears throat> Work it out. It's not going to be enough for you. Work it out ain't going to do nothing, man. When, you're, when your face look, resemble an animal, you know? That's why I say, man, <clears throat> if you're not getting women on a regular basis, <clears throat> you got to get that money up, that bread up. You know what I'm saying? At least I get some type of women every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I don't get a whole lot of women coming my way, but I get a few. I get some. Some of them find me cute. I gotta take another dosage today of the juice. But uh it's not there's nothing you can do for some dudes out here, like you know, in the dating world, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing you can do. Some dudes is done. First of all, they they uh don't wanna self-improve. That's a number one thing. Number two, they're delusional. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes are done. What can I say? I was done for a minute, but I made a comeback, dog. And then sometimes I forget that some people don't have potential genetically. You know what I mean? My, my face getting lean, huh? Johnny P was like, your face getting lean, man. I'm like, yeah, man, that trend works hella fast. Just in a week, you can lose about five pounds on that trend. You know, I got tired of being rejected by women, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I fucking got on the trend. I mean, got on the trend, got on the juice. And it works. Now I'm getting more women. But it's a shame that I had to fucking get on juice and step my cardio game up just to get women, man. Because I was delusional, man. Just like a lot of dudes up out here. Very delusional. 
you know, seeing shit that's not there, basically. You know? But a lot of you guys got potential and you don't know that. And you don't even know. If you could only just fucking lose the fat off your face. You know what I'm saying? Kelcat almost went back in the incel for a minute. I saw a few videos back, man, that my face started puffing up again. I was like, oh, nah, I got to lose this weight. So every time I go into the gym, I hit that cardio. Either I'm sprinting or I'm walking uphill, dog. I hell look better without fat on my face, dog. My fucking jawline is getting more chiseled and everything. Yeah, I'm handsome, dude. Once that some of that fat get off my face, I'm a handsome dude. Even at 39 years old. That's why I say women still make passes at me when I'm in really good shape. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you, when I was in my 20s, I got hell of pussy, dude. Looks don't just disappear from you just because you're 39 years old as a man. Now, if you're in your 50s, they'll disappear. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's a difference between a guy that's fucking, you know, uh, there's a difference between a guy that's fucking 50 years old and a guy that's 39. You know what I'm saying? So, there's a difference between the two. So, I'm still fairly young and I still got some looks. You know what I'm saying? Women still give me the dreamy eyes. You know what I mean? But it wasn't always like that. Let me tell you, my 30s was, a, was the worst of my fucking goddamn life with women. You know? My 30s was the worst. You know? <clears throat> But the thing is, I had to fucking be realistic and fucking know my fucking genetics. My thing is, I can't just eat a bunch of sugar, you know what I'm saying, without swelling up. That's my genetics. You know, you can't be like, well, I'm going to eat this cupcake. I'm going to eat this cupcake and then I'm going to go to the gym. Nah, man, you got to eat. I mean, sometimes that shit is okay. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes that shit is okay. But when you eat that shit on a daily basis, no. No, you can't eat that shit on a daily basis, man. You'll fucking blow the fuck up. You know? But like I said, you can't save everybody. You know, a lot of guys don't have potential. A lot of guys are going to go through a life of uh, sexual frustration if they don't get their money together. See, the thing is, niggas who don't have potential, like genetically, uh, you're going to have to get money, dude. That's the only way out for you, dude. You're going to have to become a millionaire. Basically, you know what I mean? Are you going to suffer out here forever? Take five or 10 years out of your life, become something, get your bread right, get your money right, and then go out there and step on the dating scene. You know what I'm saying? Because when niggas, I'm telling you, when niggas resembles, when they resemble an animal, a giraffe, or a fucking, uh, a a, a, a a Goomba from the from the Mario Brothers, you know what I'm saying? You're done. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these females, they're very shallow like that. They'll like put your picture up next to a, like a, a donkey or something. If you look like a donkey, a lot of these females that you try to get with, they'll put that shit on their phone. They'll have a a donkey right. Yeah, they'll have your picture next to a donkey and shit on their phone. 
That's how fucked up these females are out here. You know what I'm saying? If you look like a monkey or if you look like fucking um, <clears throat> Way the Poo or some shit like that, or if you look like a goddamn, uh, if you look like a goddamn horse, you know what I'm saying, or a bug with buggish eyes, man, that's it's over, man. Somebody fucked you up. Somebody fucked your genetics up. Your parents, man, shh. Man, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. See, the thing is, man, I stopped getting laid because I got older and I stopped taking care of myself. I stopped exercising. I stopped dieting. You know what I'm saying? I stopped doing the things that kept women around. You know what I'm saying? I kept the body fat percentage high. Okay? And once I chunk up, I get no play from women. That's the that's my genetics, man. You know what I'm saying? I get no fucking play. But once I fucking, you know, diet, eat the right foods and shit like that, man, you know, and exercise, stay lean, I get women, dude. You know what I'm saying? I get women. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to be honest, man. Like I said before, that number has slowed down throughout the years. The number of women coming my way. You know what I'm saying? But I get some women that find me sexy. Some women might find me hideous. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not to the point where, where like, 95% women think I'm ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not to the, that point yet. You know? Some guys were, were born with mental disabilities. Some guys were born disabled. That I mean, if you're born disabled, man, that automatic that automatically like that automatically pushes you from the dating scene. Well, from people that are not disabled. I mean, will you date women that are, that are disabled like you? Hell yeah, I seen them get together all the time. Disabled people. You know what I'm saying? So, there's no hope for a lot of dudes out there that got a, me a negative mindset. They 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 call themselves losers and shit like that. And they don't believe in themselves. And let me tell you, man, I fucking believe in myself. That's why I lost the weight in the first place, man. I saw myself as a fucking warrior. But also, I have had women in my life also and throughout my 20s and I know what it feels like see a lot of guys they don't know what it feels like so I drink water they don't know what it feels like to have women in their life you know what I mean So they go through life just hating women because women treat them like shit, man. And they get rejected from women a lot more. Of course, they're going to feel a certain way about women. Let me tell you, if these bro if these dudes wasn't getting rejected by women, they wouldn't have all that bitterness in their heart, though. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have all that bitterness. Let me tell you, the once I start exercising and the fat, Fat percentage came down. I stopped having hatred in my heart for women. What I what, what I fucking specified facts about women and shit like that and, and their shallowness. Yeah, sometimes, but that's not my my main focus. My main focus is to fucking self improve and exercise. You know what I'm saying? Build your body up. And they got a term right now out there called gym cells. Gym dudes that can't fucking get pussy. I'm like, dude, there's no such thing as a fucking gym cell, man. I'm like, gym cells? Come on, man. Really? You can't you buff and you can't get no pussy? I mean, you can get at least a fucking uh, you know, uh 
a, a woman that's a fucking two or three, you know what I'm saying? You can at least get that. You know, some guys, and let me tell you, you're going to have to become successful and get that and get that jawline fixed, man. You can get surgery for your face. You can fix things that you don't like on your face. Like if you want a smaller nose, you can get that shit chopped up. If you want a wider jawline, you can get that done. But you guys got to go through the pain and suffering to get there, though. That means su success, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean? I'm going to do that, man. Eventually, I'm going to have to do that. Because let me tell you, the older you get, the more incel you get. I mean, if you don't have any money, if you don't have stability. if you, The more, I mean, the older you get, the more the more uh incel you get, you know what I mean, if you don't have any money. Or if you don't at least have your body in check. You know what I'm saying? Because age can put you in incel too. You know what I mean? Getting older without money can put you in incel. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I gotta hit this gym. That's just a thought, man. Just a fucking thought. It's not fun to walk around with your dick hard and you can't plug nothing into nothing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that reminds me, man. I'm going to see Ty Girl on Sunday. Boy, I can't wait to Sunday, boy. I'm going to tear that fucking pussy up. Like it's no tomorrow. That bitch was uh, sore when I got done fucking her last weekend shit she the about uh, I can't walk I can't walk you got me all sore and shit I'm like yeah bitch I did a good job I wore that ass out wore that ass out you know when well, motherfuckers come around to my channel and they talk about cow cat ugly and shit like that but this nigga getting pussy though blood I ain't that look man I can't be ugly I'm getting pussy. A lot of ugly, ugly niggas don't get pussy nowadays, especially with the internet. That's why they got. That's why they got all this fucking sexual frustration with the incels online right now. Cause niggas is not getting pussy, man. They not getting it, and it's frustrating. Let me tell you, I went through years without getting getting any new pussy. I mean, let me tell you, even when I was incel. I wasn't like real incel to the point where like I was I was getting zero pussy. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't to the point where like I had nothing. I was eating scraps. I was the type of incel that had scraps, but I didn't have any to the point where like I didn't have no pussy. Okay? I had my ex-girlfriend. I had uh the bro the bra with the uh, the the disabled kid, the kid that had op optism, you know what I'm saying? Uh, optism, I mean. Like, I had her. I was going over there busting nuts with her, so I was getting pussy even though a nigga was overweight. You know what I'm saying? It was the fact that I was so limited, you know what I'm saying? To the point where, like, I couldn't attract any more women coming my way. I was just going back and forth between the two. I even was fucking... Uh, I was even fucking a girl behind her back. I mean, the uh, the, the the girl with the autism. I was fucking her behind her my my girlfriend's back. One time, my my girlfriend went out of town. Um, and I went over to the the girl with the autism kid. You know, I went over to her house. And I told the pussy up while my ex-girlfriend was out of town. You know? So. Yeah, man. It's rough out here for motherfuckers up out here, man. What can I say, man? I can't do anything. I can't share no pussy. You know what I'm saying? 
A lot of you guys going to have to fucking fend for yourselves. You know, like, like I said before, man, I go by some of these incel channels. And I can see why these motherfuckers are incels. A lot of these guys resemble animals, man. It's like, dude. 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 If you resemble an a animal, you're not just ugly, but you resemble an animal, though. There's no coming back from that shit. There's no coming back. I don't care how much surgery you get, man. You, If you look like a camel... You look like a camel for life, man. You know what I'm saying? There's no amount of surgery that can change you. There's no amount of surgery that can change your looks or anything like that. Once you look like a camel or a cow or a chicken or a turkey, you done. You... <laughs> You better have multi-million dollars. You better have, nah, fuck a few hundred thousand a year, nigga. You're going to need more than that to get pussy. You're going to need to have fortune and fame at the same time. Because that's the only way you're going to get the puss, man. And for, for you to think that somebody's going to come around with a magic wand and and... And, and, and fucking give you pussy or make pussy appear out of nowhere, you're delusional, man. You're living in a delusional mindset. Shit don't work like that. You know what I mean? See, the thing is, man, like I said before, man, I had potential. I just had a bunch of fat on my face. And I still got a little bit of fat on my face, but it's not as severe as it was before I started juicing. Six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, or something like that, right? Once I start doing that, you know, and start dieting 70% 70 of the time, that's when the weight was coming off. You know what I'm saying? And I started getting more attention from females again. Because I had it before, you know what I'm saying? But anyway... I'm ending this video. It's 22 minutes. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment. Drop a fucking like, man. And click the notification bell button so you will never, ever miss another video from me. And I'm out.